Hi guys and welcome back to Crypto News, I'm your host Chester and today we're going to be talking about Pepe to start off with and talking about the most recent sort of price correction here for this asset because over the last sort of uh, couple of days here, crypto has fallen off a mountain, okay, and uh, Pepe has um, had quite a nice bounce recovery so we want to go through that very shortly and then we're going to be looking at some Pepe based projects that I think have got very very strong potential here over the next couple of months here for um for launch here, 100x play in my opinion. Now starting off with uh, Pepe here on uh, CMC, you can see market cap still at 3.2 billion guys, so really nothing too much to worry about here. On the daily we have bounced 28% to the upside here, which is of course super super bullish here. The dip on the chart actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's been a bit of a micro downtrend over the last sort of couple of, uh, couple of months now or so. But alt season hasn't really started yet. But for Pepe to be holding $3.2 billion in terms of a market cap, that's still super bullish, okay? That does turn me over to the Pepe chart right now. And um, I did want to talk about macro market structure, okay? And if you are new to trading, this is this is a bit hard for you guys. Just, uh, just bear with me here because um, this is super, super important. You need to learn it, okay? So the macro market structure are higher low and lower low points here for, and obviously higher highs, points of... Um, of a macro uptrend essentially. Now, why is that important? It's important because if we lose this area, okay, and that the most recent confirmed higher low of this current bull market here for Pepe is all the way down here, this yellow line here, guys, down at around 0386. Now, it's important because as long as we're above there, the chart is macro bullish, okay? So that does tell us that there is actually a very strong buying opportunity if we do get down here. And um, it basically means there's a really, really clean, clean bounce there. But I just wanted to reiterate that to you guys because obviously we have seen um, huge dumps off cliffs here and uh, breaking out of um, uh, uh, rising uh, parallel channels here. And um, this doesn't look great, okay? But what it does say to us here, it's still macro bullish and... Um, it's just a, a bit of a price fluctuation in in in, re in reference to the market right now due to um obviously at Mt. Gox dumping Bitcoin off a cliff, right? Now we were talking about potential breakout targets and bull market targets here for um for the uh for the bull 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 run coming through here, guys. And um right now, if you were to buy, which to be fair, I think this is a is a great DCA area we've dumped significantly here from this most recent lower high. We actually retraced 54%, currently um, priced at around a 40% retracement. So in, in terms of a DCA, this is really, really clean for Pepe. And I do think um, we probably will see quite a lot of upside uh, from uh, from the time being. I don't think that we're gonna actually lose um, this area here. I think we will bounce here very aggressively here uh, for Pepe. And that would mean another retracement to the downside of around 50%, okay? So it would be, um, basically a 1.6 billion dollar market cap asset at that point and um, I think that will just be scooped up by the masses if we see Pepe down at around a 1.6 billion dollar market cap. Now moving on to uh, Pepe Unchained, it's a blockchain based project uh, themed around Pepe itself and as you can see graphics super good, brand, ident brand identity is um, on point in itself and essentially the gimmick and the utility behind this project, guys, and if you do want to go check this out, all the links are in the description, it's essentially Pepe now has its own blockchain. And what they've done here with this project and why, why it's caught my eye and why I'm super bullish on it, it's essentially they've built their own layer 2 based, um, Pepe, layer, bleh, Pepe has built a layer 2 based protocol on the Ethereum blockchain, which essentially is acting like base chain, okay? And this means that um, Pepe... Pepe Unchained itself, layer two, will be able to host and build meme coins on their server themselves, right? So they want to become sort of a, a meme coin hosting um, blockchain, which is super, super bullish in itself. And the fact that it's, it's like Pepe themed um, from a brand identity perspective here, really, really, really cool stuff. I'm very, very happy with it. And I do think it's got legs here. So um, what are the benefits of this, guys? Pepe Unchained, uh, better speed, better gains, same delicious Pepe flavor. Instant bridging between Ethereum, Pepe Chain, lowest transaction fees, lower than Ethereum, and also higher volume capacity. That means transactions are going to be 100 times faster than Ethereum, guys. Super, super bullish on that. And um, also, they are going to have a dedicated blockchain explorer. And what that means for you guys that are new to um, sort of crypto here, and um, you don't really know what a dedicated blockchain explorer is, essentially, with um, with Ethereum, you've got Etherscan, and with Solana, you've got Solscan. 
and uh, you can actually go into the blockchain, look at transactions, and um, and uh, yeah, just uh, just keep a, keep a, keep a track on the blockchain of all the wallets and everything else that is happening. So super bullish, they've got that going on as well. Again, guys, if you want to go check this project out, you can. All the links are in the description. That's gonna be it for me. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.